Well, hello there. Welcome to another edition of the Nelson Ratings. This will be an update to a previous video. Yes, did a video about Scarlett Johansson accepting a role in a film that got her a lot of criticism. You may remember she got a lot of criticism playing the uh, uh, key, car key role in uh, Ghost in the Shell. And a lot of people said it should have been an Asian actress, despite the fact that it was about an android and all that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I covered all that in the last video. And, uh, but now she was going to do a movie called Rub and Tug. <laughs> it concerned the true life story of Dante Tex Gill, who ran a prostitution ring out of a massage parlor. Yes, yes. So she was going to play the role of Dante Tex Gill because you see, Dante was a woman who identified as a man, a trans man, as it were. Uh, well, there's the problem. Of course, people said, oh no, a real trans actor should play the role. They haven't, I don't know if anyone specified that it should be a woman who identifies as a man to play a woman who identifies as a man. I don't know if anyone wanted a trans woman to play a woman who identifies as a man. Oh boy. Uh, so maybe I don't know, but then again, why not? You know, I mean, so I, I don't know. So, uh, and uh, initially, Scarlett Johansson s uh, stood by her gun. She said, hey, you can talk to Jared Leto, Jeffrey Tambor, Felicity Huff. Uh, yeah, good point. Right on the mark there, Scarlett. And I, I fully uh, endorsed her statement and still stand by it, except, well, she buckled. Yeah, she said uh, her statement in light of recent ethical questions. Raised surrounding my casting as Dante Tex Gill, I have decided to respectfully withdraw my participation in the project. Yeah, well, when you're surrounded by that cult in her neck of the woods, you can imagine the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she continued on, Our cultural understanding of transgender people continues to advance. Does it? Does it? And I've learned a lot from the community since making my first statement about my casting and realized it was insensitive. No, no, it wasn't. It was true. So in order to be noble now, you must lie. So uh, I have great admiration and love for the trans community and am grateful that the conversation regarding inclusivity in a Walt Hollywood it continues. Yeah, uh, this movie's done. It's not going to happen. Uh, Who's the bankable trans man uh, who can play this role? I, I, I know of none. Of course, they haven't been given the opportunity because Hollywood is so transphobic, is it? How big is the uh, the population of the trans community? You, you, uh, you know, so uh, pretty. You're, you're already making it pretty difficult here. Besides, this is theater. None of it's real. Uh, Scarlett Johansson is not an android. Uh, she's not a superhero. She's not, uh, what was the other one, uh, an assassin. Uh, she's not uh, uh, a, a drug mule who uh, receives a drug that gives her godlike powers. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, she was playing people she's not. That's the whole point. Nobody should have been insulted by this. Uh, but now, uh, for the power of pointing the finger, and sending you to that principal's office. <laughs> it's just a sick, sad, cult-like attitude on this. Um, and uh, probably does more harm to trans people, you know, the real ones, uh, than not. And uh, there you go. Uh, so, uh, who knows? Might have been a good movie. The title is pretty hilarious, Rub and Tuck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to see it. I, maybe they'll force it to get made because, you know, a lot of people in Hollywood are in that cult and uh, just out of spite uh, make it. But, um, yeah. Well, that's too bad. But we still got Black Widow on the way. So, there's that. If only Scarlett Johansson had been as strong and super heroic as Black Widow, she could have stood her ground and said, this is ridiculous, and all that, but no. no she buckled. Because remember, uh, the, uh, the Dark Ages is where Trans-America happened, where Transparent happened. Yeah, that was uh, where we were all ignorant and moronic in the Dark Ages. Oh my goodness, we were all so evil back then. 
Oh, boy, I tell you, they ought to give back their awards for those roles because uh, they should have been ashamed of themselves for portraying people they're not. <laughs> so, again, yes, if only Scarlett Johansson could be a superhero like, like Black Widow. But, oh, that's right. She isn't really Black Widow. You get it? No? Well, then I can't help you. Anyway, uh, in the link description below, the link to the previous video is there. You can watch that. And also, uh, why not check the other uh, links in the link description below? They'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies just for you. Yes. Thanks for listening and watching. Why not you like and subscribe? We'll do it again. Bye-bye.